Hey, it's Chickadees. I'm Lay Rooster, and you're in the Hen House. Today, one of the questions that I'm getting in a lot of streams has to do with uh, with officers. Now, not just any officers, but a lot of beginner officers. Um, a lot of folks, you know, everyone's hearing Pike Moreau, Chen Pike Moreau, um, Talon, and you hear. But a lot of you um, are playing and are just getting started. Only been playing for a few weeks, getting into it, not spending any money to accelerate things, which is fine. And you're saying, I don't have Pike, I don't have Moreau. What are these? What are these people talking about? PMC, PMT, all that stuff. You know, how do I? Uh, you know, how do I get through and do some stuff? So I wanted to do a short video that just looks at some of the basic, basic crew loadouts that you use in the very low levels, with um, with the crews that you can get very early, um, and that you'll um, that will stick with you, and you'll be able to use them to some degree in the future um, going forward. So that is part of what we're doing here. And we're going to have some that'll help you out with some hostile loadouts so that you can know which ones to focus on, which ones are more crap. Um, and um, also your mining, some, some of your mining uh, go-tos, as well as some honorable mention category. I'm going to have more series on officers, so stay tuned later on for some PvP stuff, some Armada stuff, things like that. Wanted to update some officer because we didn't, we weren't able to take in into account the new next generation officers when those cadets came out. So I want to update some of that information and give you that short video. So if you're with me here, uh, hang in and let's go uh, go to it. I went on my main account so I could deck out some ships, but I put some old old ships that you'll recognize from the lower levels for the most part on here. Um, one of the things just to be aware of as we uh, wait for this to pop in is uh, when we look at our standard recruits, this is where you get the majority of these folks. You can see the blue folks up here, green green folks, and the grays. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get these very easily over time um, and be able to pull things from within here. So we're looking at things we can pull from within here that are worth having and working on. And there are some other situational things, but uh, let's let's focus a little bit on that. So, getting into it, I got my ships lined up here. All right, so we're going to look at hostels. Um, so, if you're newer to the game, you know the uh, one of the things here. Here's some of the some of the setup. So, on the next generation cadets, so the gray uncommons. All right, that you're going to use. You're gonna you're gonna want to use Jordy LaForge as your captain and work on him. I use him still when I'm grinding hostels, even though he's an uncommon. I use him when I've got, got enough ships grinding hostels, and then you're gonna you're gonna um, pair him with pair him not 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 jump with with Beverly Crusher. All right, now this is next gen Crusher. This is not the blue one. She's great. There's other uses for her, but we're not talking about all the ones that are great. We're talking about the ones that you you're gonna use and get early that you can sink points into during events and not worry about overspending or anything like that, and that you will have some recourse to um, throughout your play. So it is Jordy LaForge as your captain with Next Gen Crusher. So with Jordy and his captain, he gives he decreases weapon damage of the opponent's ship by 15%. His officer ability um, increases the shield health of the ship. So he's making, uh, making them do less damage and boosting his shield. And then... Um, Bev Crusher or Next Gen Crusher, um, during combat only, she increases the effectiveness of the captain maneuver. Um, so we're welcoming, you know, in there. So she's boosting him, uh, boosting his abilities, which are helping with your hostile grinding. Now I have over here Talon. She's an uncommon cadet. The, the well, they're named cadets, but they're the they're the B list people, right? Now she's important because her um, if a hostile, she decreases the damage done by its kinetic weapons by twenty percent. Working under hostiles, hostiles of under of level fifty one and under, you're not going to have to worry about level fifty one for a little while. Um, but she does it against kinetic, so that means against interceptors, which will make more sense later on in the game. So it's going to be, it's going to be, LaForge with next gen Crusher. And you're going to use Talon. The other option is to use Chen, who's in the next build. So Chen and Talon are interchangeable when paired with the other two of these two ships. But you got to use them for the right ships. So with Talon being against Interceptors in particular. All right, so now let's look at this next, next ship. Here we go. A little jellyfish from back in the day. So here, there's Chen that I'm talking about. Um, and again, she could go on the other ship and Talon could go here in this spot. So either way, depending on what you're hunting, but your captain here is, this is, 
and they did it again. This is this is old school Cadet Uhura from when the game started, um, and with Cadet McCoy on the side pairing him up. So with Uhura, she uh, decreases weapon damage of the opponent ship by fifteen percent, which should sound familiar, and her officer um, increases the shield health of the ship by fourteen percent. So it's they're kind of the same same officer. Cadet McCoy, who's also a doctor like Crusher. During combat, increases the effectiveness of the captain maneuver by, in this case, 12%. Look at that. Now, uh, Chin. So they're doing the same thing. These are your two folks that are going to really help you with hostile. And then with Chin here, if the opponent's a hostile, she decreases the damage done by its energy weapons by 30%. Works uh, against hostiles of level 51 and under. So Chin is one that you always max out. So again, everybody uses energy who doesn't use kinetic weapons. Now, again, so that's mainly we're talking about if it's not an interceptor, Chin is usually the better one. And if it is an interceptor, you use Talon. But you can use that. This gives you two loadouts that you can run at the same time if you had two ships working on hostiles. Um, and this will be for when you have all the different events that have us grinding hostiles for different reasons, as long as they're reds, you know, not blues. All right, because that's PvP and that's a different different video, but it's coming. Um also, check my old officer video because it covers kind of a gamut of a lot of things, including some PvP and everything. But we're going to focus on the stuff that you do early on here. So let's look. So that is helping with uh, with these events, with these ships. Now, next one is a, a brief thing on miners. There are a lot of miners in the game, and we're getting more and more, particularly as the Borg miners come out. But I wanted to focus on the things that you get out of this standard uh, standard recruit chest. These are the three blues, the three rare officers that you can get. And so you will be getting them over time. It may take a little while, but, you know, I mean, you'll be in the teams and you'll have them. So this is to Pring. Um, this is Barrett. This is Stan. Okay, the three rare officers. So what they do is now what they do is you're going to use them based on they're going to be the captain based on which thing you're going after. With to Pring, you become a gas miner increasing the mining rate of gas. Okay. With Barrett in there, it flips to crystal miner. So increasing the rate of crystal mining by 40%. And with Stan, you may be able to guess this, um, it is going to become the ore miner. So increases the mining rate of the ship for ore by 40%. So they're really useful here. All right. So you're going to use them based on which one you're going after. Now the side effects, the officer abilities of them as well. To Pring, very importantly, very useful, has the increases protected cargo, in this case, mined by 200%. It goes, it builds up over time. Stan actually increases the total cargo size of the ship, not the protected cargo, but just how big the ship can hold. When, uh, and then, uh, well, Barrett, Barrett's a little special. Uh, when attacked, mining, there's this broken, let's let's just say broken ability that's not really useful. Uh, you get more use out of Stan and to Pring. When you have to Pring in here, who's giving you this hidden stash protected cargo bonus, that makes it better for you to mine and like set it and forget it with a timer and know that people won't be able to get your loot longer because you have a greater deal of protected cargo. More about that strategy later, but it also includes other officers. And we're focusing on the very beginnings here. With Stan, increases the total size of the ship. So that means you can load up more. Now, most of the time, if you're doing mining, you're going to get hit if you load up, if you don't have protected cargo to protect that. However, when you are doing some base rating or things like that, the fact that you can hold more is actually helpful because you're getting more from somebody's base with one trip. So an important thing to remember. And then with Barrett, his other ability is broken. Use him to mine crystal. And then he's a high attack officer for putting below decks as well as for sending on away teams. So just uh, notes for that. All right. So confirm that. And then now um, I also wanted to add in some honorable mention folks from the standard crew. There are some more stuff, but again, things that are going to help you in your PVP, uh, PVE stuff, not focused on the armadas and PVP and that sort of thing. But so honorable mention ship here I brought in. All right, now who do we got here? We've got Cadet Scotty. Um, we've got Helvia and Domitia, all right? Or Domitia, depending on however it's pronounced. All right, so what's the point of them? Well, now, um, Scotty, whatever. The big thing with Cadet Scotty, and he's pretty pretty special in that, is his officer ability, which increases the warp distance of the ship. Mine's by five, but it'll it'll be less when you start with him, but as you build him up, I think it's like goes three, four, five, something like that. So... That helps you get places that you need to go, 
that you can't reach, whether it's to reach to mine, to reach to farm some hostels, um, to get somewhere. Um, so he's very special in that you can put him on the side as an officer, and that allows you to get somewhere that you couldn't. Like when one of your alliance mates is giving you a node that you want for some event or for some special mining, but you just, you're just a little short. This is where it really helps with that. Um, so he remains useful and people use him later whenever they're kind of pushing the limits of what they can do with their ships. Um, so he will be useful for that. Um, Domitia, you know, these Domitia and Helvia are also part of the miner crew, but they're not as not as good as the blue miners that we talked about earlier. But like Domitia does dilithium as her captain. So if you're ever deciding I want to mine really slowly and want dilithium, then you use her. However, her officer ability is as long as the cargo of the ship is full, Domitia increases its warp speed by 130 percent. Um, so, again, with the concept of protected cargo, um, you're rarely getting full without being attacked unless you're base raiding. So when you are base raiding, you are going to fill up almost every time, except like the last time. So you're going to fill up. So if you're using like perhaps Stan on there in order to boost the size of the ship, fill it up. And then when it's full with Domitia on there, you're able to fly back via warp faster than you would. So this is helpful if you're warping in and out for raiding, which some people do rather than moving in or for only occasion, a few, a few um, back and forth hits. Depends on what you're doing, but that's where she has some use there. She's not quite as useful as the next one, which is Helvia, the last one. Now, again, if you put her on as captain, she helps you mine Parsteel. There's another one, Kabish, that helps you mine Tritanium. But the, she, So if you're needing those things, these guys are captains for that. But her officer ability is the Gold Rush. As long as the cargo of the ship is empty, LV increases its warp speed by 125%. So that means whenever you're going out in the beginning to mine, but also with a warship or anything where you want to go faster and get there fast, if you have her on as an officer, it helps speed you up and get you. Um, so that's how um, that's how you get there and um, move it along. See, we got some stuff in chat, and it'll be great. We're here on Twitch, and uh, uh, as soon as I sign this off, we're gonna we're gonna go uh, do that and uh, look at that. So Helvia will be helpful. Well, that's part of your honorable mention. Um, come join us on Twitch and everything uh, as well, where we stream all the time in the evenings, uh, Pacific time after work, and then throughout the day and morning on uh, the weekends. So, and here we go, flip over here. But come join. If you like this video, make sure you like it. Give us a thumb up, thumbs up, press the bell so you get the notifications. Leave a comment down below about your thoughts and about questions that you have. Also, you'll find links down below for the Twitch stream that I'm talking about, as well as my Discord server, so we can talk uh, in between streams and videos. Uh, I respond to everyone's uh, messages on YouTube, unless you're a troll and you know who you are. So you guys take care. This will help. And we got more videos coming out. And check some of the other videos in, uh, in the library on that. So you take care and cock-a-doodle-doo.